The DEH1 or digital and cohead is the easy and most intuitive way to remotely control the SRH. Since the DEH1 can be operated on tripod just like the normal flu head, you can control the tilt, the pan, the focus and the zoom for cinema and broadcast lens. The Elvas protocol or rather Elvas workflow allows all the controllers in so-called daisy chains to be connected in series with each other with just one type of cable. This makes the setup very quick and very easy. Even if a cable should fail, there is no problem that there is always an Elvas cable somewhere. Place the DEH1 on a prepared flat base tripod by loosening the tie down screw on the fluent head. Level the tripod leg by using the level bubble. Lock down pan and tilt brakes. Turn both tilt drag selector and control weight knob to zero. Select the pan bar attached and select the desired operating angle. Mount the control weight bars. Mount both hand grip pan bar adapters to the pan bars. The telescopic pan bar length can be adjusted through the clamp lever. After both handle hand grip bar adapters have been mounted on the pan bars, the master grip OCU1 can be adapted to the pan bars. The steel rosette allows additional angle adjustment. Remove the standard bracket from the OCU1 and attach the rosette adapter to the back of the OCU1 as a shows. Open the tilt brake and set the friction to zero. Switch the controlways until the pan bar remains in horizontal position. The DH1 sets are supplied with the following LVAS cables. Connect the first LVAS cable controller to the second LVAS controller using the 2.5 feet LVAS cable. Connect the second LVAS cable controller to the DH1 using the 5 feet LVAS cable. Before you connect the DH1 to a remote control panel, change the profile to profile 2 for example. Finally, connect the DH1 to the remote control using the LVAS cable. For a fast and easy setup, this menu will show up as soon as the DH1 is connected to the remote control. The auto assignment will set. There are two ways to use the DRW1, angle mode and speed mode. The angle mode is the right choice when extremely precise movement are needed. Every movement of the DH1 is transferred to a remote head with exact degree and precision. Speed mode is a good mode when the high dynamic action needs to be covered. Touch menu at the lower right corner of the home screen to reach the main menu. In the main menu select head to reach the head menu. Touch mode to doggle between angle and speed. Press save after the mode is selected. In order to operate the DH1 correctly in angle mode, the following settings shall be made. In order to achieve a faster movement in angle mode, the ratio value must be adjusted. Selecting controls will open a controls menu. Selecting ratio opens a new sub-menu in which the required speed ratio of the pan and the tilt axis can be adjusted. By slowly increasing the ratio value, you set the relationship between the angle at which you move the encoder head and the angle at which the head moves at the end. In order to operate the DH1 correctly in a speed mode, the following settings shall be made. A speed of 80 gives you a good one-to-one -one feeling between the DH1 and the remote head. A lower speed value would undercrack the movement of the remote head. A higher speed value 
will overcrack the movement of the remote head. In speed mode, you can also use the ramp adjusting the tilt and pan. Note, a high positive ramp value will delay the response of the remote head. The DH1 will start and stop progressively softer as the value increases. On the back of the DH1 facing the operator is the so-called main brake. The brake button allows the operator to enable and disable the encoder head from the pan and tilt motors axis of the remote head. Note, a disabled DH1 is indicated by the red LED. Note, disabling the DH1 may also avoid operation. The master grips and the OCU1 will interact via the DH1 and the remote control in the so-called remote mode. The display of the master grip and the OCU1 will show remote as soon as the LVAS controller are connected in the remote control via the DH1. Note, if remote is not shown in the display, the software of the LVAS controller is out of date and need to be updated before use. Selecting the marker area will open a new submenu, where the desired controllers can be selected and assigned. Selecting Assign will open the selection. Select the desired Elvas controllers and press Assign. For more details, please refer the DH1 manual.